going to tell you about Flubaroo today. Flubaroo is a newer tool that just came out that will grade Google Forms for you. So if you use Google Forms to create quizzes or tests or surveys that you want graded, this is an awesome tool that will do that for you real easily. Um, it's called Flubaroo. You can find out more information about it at flubaroo.com. They have their a video that you can watch. You can go through a tutorial. A little the little try it now button takes you through a tutorial. There's also an overview. Reading through the overview is really helpful. It explains it very clearly and you get a really good idea of what's going on. I'm going to show you just quick how to use it. It's so simple. The first thing is in your Google Docs you have to open the one that you want. I've got one here that I had fourth graders do about our new OPAC. The most important part is that you fill it out. So this is my submission right here at the top. That's the most important part. You have to fill one out so that you have something to use as an answer key. If you need to fill yours out still under form you can click go to live form and then that form will pop up and you can just fill in the correct answers. The next thing is what you have to do is run a script. So you have to go to insert and you need to insert a script and Flubaroo is the one that you want. Type it in right there. You can also search for it. It's in the education gallery there. I'm just going to do a search because it's easier. Click on install here. It takes about 30 seconds to a minute to install and you do have to do it on every form that you want graded but that one minute will save you tons of time in the long run. It's well worth it. Once that is finished installing, you'll have to click Authorize to authorize it. And then a little box should pop up saying you can run it. I'm going to go ahead and close this. And now you'll notice here in your toolbar, you now have an option called Flubaroo. If you click on that and then you click Grade Assignment, this box will pop up here. And what you're going to do is tell it which questions are worth either a point or you can select that you want to skip grading so if you did one where it might be an essay question you would want to skip that because that's something you'd want to grade separately it also it does its best to guess what it is that you're doing so here I had a question that said write your name in homeroom and it guessed that this is the question that identifies the student and that's exactly what I wanted it to do I'm gonna click continue and then the next step is to tell it which submission to use as the answer key. So here I'm going to select that the one from me is the answer key. I'm going to press continue. And now it's going to grade the assignment. And you see that it opens down here in a new page. So I have my submissions on one page, and then I have my grades in another worksheet there. So I can click on View Grades, or I can just exit out of this. So here's how it graded. I can see all of their individual scores going down the list here. And if I go over, it highlights in orange any question that got less than 60% correct. So on this one, I see only 4% got that correct, which is not very good. That's definitely a skill that I need to go back and reteach here. So it tells you who got how many right, tells you their percentage. The other awesome thing about this is that not only you can kind of see which things you need to reteach, you can also email this. You can email the results to each kid. So if I go up here and I go to email grades, since I didn't have them put their email addresses into this one, um, it doesn't really work. But if you had a question where it said to put your email address, then you can have this email straight to them. You can include their answers. You can leave a little message. You can also do, I'll show you one where the answer is already in there. If you have Google Apps for Education in your district, then there's a 
place where you can select when you make the quiz. There's a place where you can select you can select that it will automatically record the person's email address. So anytime somebody fills that out within your domain, it's going to automatically collect that email address. So as long as you check that every time, then what will happen when you get that Fluberoo script in there, then you'll be able to email it really easily. Um, you can email the kids their answers, work super slick, they can get immediate feedback about what they're doing. Um, and then if you wanted to go back and see what they put in over here, and you can always do the summary from here still. You can also do that over here if I go back to the grades worksheet and I do view report. I can see how many people scored how many points. And this is a pretty easy way to see how they did. Their average was 6.44 out of 8 um, and it counted 25 different submissions. So I think Fluberoo is an awesome tool. It will save you a ton of time. It is a little crazy to get that wait that first minute for it to load, but once it loads, um, it'll save you a ton of time in the long run. So that is Fluberoo. If you need more information about it, Fluberoo.com is has everything that you will need to learn more about it. I hope that you have enjoyed this, and I hope that you use it and that it works really well for you.